class. And this one is going to be ledger art. And we're going to show you exactly, we're going to talk a little bit about the history of ledger art. Today we are presenting the ledger art drawing cultural class. So we're, we handed out supplies and we're trying to um, encourage um, cultural participation and learn a little bit about the um, history of the ledger art and trying to incorporate that as a um, prevention activity during these um, summer days here. Yeah. You know, when you see these, uh, it's detailed. Uh, yeah. But these are all, you know, specific designs too. They were very uh, um, engrossed in the subject, yeah. Um, even though, you know, some of them don't feel like they have good art skills, but they drew what they wanted to draw and it was good. I, I liked what they drew. If you see a soldier today, they wear those medals on their chest, right? And they have campaign ribbons, and that tells you where they fought and, and what they did. Well, that's what these drawings were. They were recording their deeds of valor, their martial exploits, their war honors, uh, if they captured a weapon from the enemy, if they captured horses from the enemy. Any kind of hobby, um, I think it takes them away from the daily routine of things. Is a stress reliever and helps people to manage their stress, and maybe, maybe that'll deter them from drinking or because some people say that's what drugs do or drinking does for you, is it takes you away, it's an escape. Well, art is an escape. So if we're teaching them a variety of art, maybe they'll find something that they can do. It may not be ledger drawing, but it may be making something out of par fletch, um, maybe beading, you know, but if they can find what their niche, then I think that might help them to overcome some of these other um, addictions. Yeah.